You're listening to the Drummer Daily Podcast, the only daily podcast dedicated just to drummers. Go to my website at danielhadaway.com. Hey there, once again, welcome back to Drummer Daily. Um, I'm sitting behind my drum kit, which always makes me happy. It's always the most inspiring place for me to be, especially when talking about drum stuff. Uh, so uh, I, whether you're sitting at your desk or in your car or on the treadmill, um, kudos to you, by the way, from the treadmill. Um, I'm a, I think I'm going to go out and, and mow my lawn here in a minute. Um, and that's my exercise for the week. Um, other than playing drums, of course, that's a, that's a pretty good, a good workout sometimes. Uh, but no matter where you're sitting, uh, I'm sitting behind the drums so that maybe I can channel some inspiration to you um, wherever you're at. And uh, uh, maybe you're itching to get back behind the drum kit. And if you are, uh, I'm excited for you that you're going to do that. Uh, so anyway, thanks for joining me today. Um, so today I want to kind of give you a, uh, a kick in the pants if um, if you need it. And if you don't need it, you're still going to get it. So <laughs> uh, I, there's, I want to tell you a story though. So um, I am, I've been in the, uh, I used to work in marketing, um, my day job. In fact, a previous episode here recently, I actually mentioned that I had a day job. Well, that was in marketing and a big part of marketing or really any world, you've probably seen some of this stuff. Um, you know, there's a lot of, uh, uh, online training materials you can go through. There's a lot of um, conferences you can go to um, for entrepreneurs, marketing people, things like that. There's all kinds of stuff always, always out there. Um, and there are, um, I don't want to be too specific here, so I'm trying my best not to be. Um, there are some people that I've worked with before who are kind of voices of authority in that world. So they have a following um, you know, they write books, things like that, and they, and they are, they're fairly well known and followed for business advice, career advice, entrepreneurship advice, um, things like that. And um, I used to help this person out quite a bit with some of their stuff. Uh, and so uh, he would have these conferences, these in-person conferences that he would run fairly regularly. And um, I'd go help him with some of these events and I would go there and I started realizing that I would see the same people over and over again at these events. Now, keep in mind, these events were, um, these events were all the same. So does that make sense? So like they, they, it was, it was, you know, every six months or so we're going to have this event. The idea being was that, was that, that new people would come to these things, different people, because they are, you know, you come to the conference once and you've got the information, you've got the stuff. Um, and so, um, you know, he, he would have this conference and um, we, I started noticing there was a handful of people who were the same every time and they were coming and, and the, the speakers didn't change, the content didn't change, they just kept coming. And eventually I had to kind of like uh, find out on my own. Um, I asked, you know, why, you know, uh, I asked him uh, and, or I, I brought it up to him. I said, hey, I noticed these people keep coming. What's up with that? And he finally said, you know what? There's a certain percentage of people that get really addicted to learning or trying to find that next great thing. And what that means is they, they are constantly feeling like if they just knew the secret, if they just knew the one thing or, or, or they, they don't already know it and they, if they could just find it um, or, or they heard it one more time, that it would magically happen for them without them having to put in the effort. Um, there are people who are just uh, serial learners or serial knowledge hoarders, I would say, because hoarding is, you know, you collect things you don't actually use you, or you keep a lot of things you don't need and you don't use. Different than collecting, I guess. But um, you keep a lot of things that you don't, you're not ever going to use and you don't have any plan for and they don't really mean anything to you. Um, and I think there are a lot of people who, um, who, who hoard knowledge. Um, and definitely this is true. In the drumming world, but I think it exhibits itself in a different way, and that is, um, I know that, pe- that I know people personally who will spend hours uh, just trying to watch instructional videos 
uh, through all these different websites on drumming, on playing. They want to be professional drummers and they just sit and watch. And it's like you spend all this time watching instead of practicing or, or working on all these other things that actually matter uh, to becoming a professional. Um, you spend all this time just watching and dreaming and thinking about what it would be like to be that person. Um, which is great motivation, but if you don't actually ever do anything, you're just you're just hoarding the knowledge, or hoarding the, uh, you're you're uh, you're just drifting off in your imagination, and you're not actually going to do anything to execute on that. Um, you're kicking the tires. You're 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 a constant tire kicker, I guess is what I'd say. Um, and I just want to encourage you today that if that's you, um, uh, you know, get off your rear end and do something. Don't keep watching. Uh, and, and just acquiring knowledge. Take some of the things that, I've, that I'm teaching in this and actually try to do them. Uh, you might be surprised how quickly you can get results if you do that. Um, a, an example from my personal life is this. Uh, you might know that I, I have uh, something called Boom Click Bootcamp, which is an online, uh, it's, it, it's not really a course, it's more of a tool that you can use uh, and go through in two weeks to get really great at playing with a click track. Well, um, that came out as I record this um, a little less than a year ago, and I think it's been pretty pretty darn successful. Um, I've been really happy with how many people have gone through it. Um, but what you may not know is that I had the idea for that. Gosh, it had to have been a few years before that. I had the idea of, of creating something for other drummers to use. Now I've been I've been using this the method that I use in that for a while with other drummers personally. And I used it, uh, you know, for myself for a while. Um, but I had the idea for a while, and I kept like thinking, oh, what would it be like to do this? What would it be like to do this? Um, but never actually did it. And I realized, I identified myself as, you know what? I am, t- I'm kicking the tires constantly in my own head with this thing. And the only way that I'm going to actually do anything is if I uh, put a little bit of pressure on myself. So what I did was. I created a little bit of an outline for it, uh, how uh, what the different exercises were each day. But then I put it out there. I announced a deadline. I announced to the world through my Instagram and other social media channels, this is when I'm going to do this thing. Um, and it, all of a sudden, other people expected it from me by then. So I was like, uh-oh, I got to make this thing actually happen, uh, which for me in the end was the most gratifying thing in the world because it was one of the first major, 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 major undertakings like that that I had actually seen through to completion and actually um, gotten some success from and had people actually, uh, you know, I was able to impact so many more people by doing it this way than just continually teaching it one-on-one through lessons and other things like that. And so it's been so gratifying to finally have that become a reality, but it never would have happened if I just kept kicking the tires. So I put a deadline on myself and made it happen by that deadline. So I just want to encourage you, don't be a serial learner. Don't be a tire kicker. Um, Take this podcast, the things that I'm saying here. I really do feel like I try to put some of my best stuff in here uh, for free for you to take. I'm not trying to sell you anything right now. I just want you to take what you've already learned and maybe go do some of those things. Try some of them out. Do something to try to advance your career as a drummer if you're not already. Um, Don't just sit and do the same old things over and over again thinking that something is going to come in from the outside and change your world. Uh, You have to make your own opportunities. Um, You have to create your own opportunities. And if you're not the one that's going to do the work to make it happen, um, no one's going to, you know, Santa Claus is not going to knock on your door and deliver um, uh, a music career to you. You have to go out and and find it and make it. Um, And I want to help you. Uh, I want to walk you through all of it. But uh, you need to be willing to take those steps in order to make that a reality for yourself. Uh, So... Take this kick in the pants and and go out and make something happen. Um, I hope that uh, this inspires you. I don't want to discourage you. I want you to be inspired to go make this happen. I went out and made something happen, um, and I am reaping the benefits now. I know um, hundreds of other musicians who've done the same thing. There's a clear path to getting there, um, but you just need to take the steps to actually um, walk down that path. So... I can provide you the path, I can provide you the outline, but you need to actually take those steps. So I want you to start doing that today. Thanks for joining me, and we'll talk again really soon. Bye for now.